Can you finance a residential assisted living facility with SBA financing? And the an answer is yes, it is probable to finance a residential assisted living facility with SBA financing. And here are some details that might help you as you're looking at these deals. So if it's a startup or an existing business, okay, that's the first kind of variable. If it's a startup, you're gonna to need to have all the licensing and permits in place before being able to close uh, with the SBA financing. So it may be a long runway for you to get your permits and licensing. So just be aware that you won't get your financing until all of that is in place. You're gonna need all your bids and invoices for all the furniture, fixtures and equipment, any of the retrofits that require a general contractor, just make sure you have a reputable general contractor. You're gonna need some information from the GC as well when you're doing these SBA transactions. Now the beauty of the SBA product, even on a startup, you potentially can get as high as 90% loan to cost. Now many on a startup will be in the 80% range and some on a non-franchise startup say, we'll make a loan, but we'll be at 70% loan to cost. So just be aware, there's some more aggressive banks, there's some banks that really like the residential assisted living facilities. Some of them will do them, but they'll be a little bit more uh, stringent and only allow for lower leverage between 70 and 80%. Uh, and some of them will be aggressive and say, yeah, you are a great borrower. You have great credit. You have available collateral. We'll make this loan at 90% loan to cost, which will fund the acquisition of the property, all the furniture, fixtures, equipment, the build out, and working capital. So it is a fantastic program for residential assisted living facilities. So if you're interested in learning more about financing options, you can book a discovery call at bookwithbo.com. We help a lot of people in the assisted living uh, space get financing, uh, get expansion financing. Just keep in mind on a startup, you're going to need to get your ducks in a row in order to get the financing in place. You're going to need your construction budget, you're going to need any plans, permits uh, for the construction, along with any plans, permits, or, or permits that you'll need, business license, etc., cetera, uh, for your uh, specific state. So if you have all that in, in line, then yes, you can close with the SBA 7A. The 504, the SBA 504 may be an option as well, and we'll talk about that in another episode. So at the end of the day, SBA financing could be a very good solution for these residential assisted living facilities. We have a lot of people uh, calling us uh, almost weekly, looking to finance these as so many boomers are turning 65 every day. Uh, the trend is gonna continue for the next foreseeable future with so many people aging. Uh, and the preference, what I see at least, is that people would rather, rather stay in a home-like environment versus a big box uh, location. So we're seeing more of these rolls spread out throughout the nation. So it's a great time to finance these with SBA, just learn the process and the structure on how to get them done. Obviously, experience in the sector really would help. It's not, uh, it's not a necessity, but it definitely will get you to the finish line with more banks It'll be a little bit more challenging if you don't have experience in the space. So uh, we see a lot of transition from medical professionals into the space, and that's a good uh, that's a good use case to show that you have experience in healthcare versus somebody that's a real estate investor and wants to get in the space. Doesn't mean we can't do it. It just takes a little bit more navigating. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this episode. If you have any additional questions, you can go to bookwithbo.com. Happy to discuss. See you on the next episode. If you're looking to acquire a business, stop scrolling on Biz Buy Sell and visit FranchiseResaleListings.com. We'll do a customized search. You can get on our weekly distribution where we're sending new inventory weekly to your inbox. So visit FranchiseResaleListings.com and opt in today. See you there. Hey guys, Bo Exine here. If you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe to this channel. We talk all things financing. I've been in the lending industry for over 20 years and I'm happy to answer your questions and provide great content.